Some of you already know that I live in the Suffolk countryside here in the UK and very, very lucky, especially for this whole, you know, lockdown thing. Uh, going out into the countryside has been a great way of, of coping with everything. Um, and I either go for walks uh, or I go for runs. I've taken up running again. And this lockdown, January that we're in, January, February, it's going on till March probably, has been, it's been really challenging. So I've been out for runs more and I've been out for walks more and today is one of them. Just needed to, needed to get out. Uh, but where I am, I just have to walk over a few fields and a few paths round uh, the farms to uh, get to the wonderful Helmingen Hall. It's about a 20, probably a 20 minute run, half hour walk, uh, and then you get to uh, this. That is what's just so wonderful to walk to. Is that woodpecker? Let me know if it is. Public footpath goes right through the estate. And it's, just a, it's a great path to run on as well, but there's a lovely little obelisk in the middle where I like to have a little sit down and a coffee if I'm having a walk. If I have a run, then that's my target point for a stop and a breather and for that sort of moment where you just breathe and take it all in and get away from it all. Look, let's try and zoom in. They're watching me, watching them. Aren't they fabulous? It looks like they're actually quite a fair way away, but I think they're 50 meters away. It's not far at all, is it? You can see why it's lovely, why it's lovely to walk here about a 45 minute walk for me or if I'm doing a run uh, on a good day on a run it's about 20 minutes to get to here but what a lovely point to get to. And it's been my saving place really over the last couple of months, certainly now as we're in this difficult lockdown in, uh, in the winter. Um, so to come out, to get away, clear the head, to sit and listen. I would say this to nothing, but it's not nothing, it's just stunning. It's all oh, well, wonderful, does wonderful things for the for the mind and well-being. Um, resets myself and just helps to, to calm. And on that note, let's pour a coffee and let's look at some new yarn. Cheers, everyone. So this is a brand new yarn from Macintosh. Cashmere and luxury merino. And I've got some to have a look at. Oh. Right. So this comes in kind of four categories. You've got the pastels range, which is this here. You've got the vivids, the neutrals and the bowls. But uh, I wanted to look at um, the pastel range because to me, uh, that is, those colours are calming anyway. Uh, but I'm working with pastels as well, aren't I? As you saw in my last video. So it actually made sense to, to go for pastels. So look at that. Isn't that a cake of just goodiness? Goodiness, calmfulness. 
It comes as a 50 gram cake and a center pull. The swatch knits up to a 22 stitches to 28 rows using a four mil needle. 80% extra fine merino. And we'll talk about merino in a little while. 20% cashmere. And it is, I mean, even just from that little bit there, it is so thick. <laughs> The Merino originated in Spain and was first introduced to the United Kingdom about 200 years ago. Although numbers increased for a time, it is a rare breed in this country. The breed grows well in arid conditions as found in Australia, Southern Africa and parts of New Zealand. The best fine wools come from Merino sheep. The bulk of Merino wool production is 20 to 23 microns. The quality of the fleece produced varies greatly depending on growing conditions and animal husbandry. It knitted up. Hand dyed, so you get that variegated look where there's more dye in certain aspects of the wool or more saturated where it's clumped up, so you get that lovely effect. That means it's completely one off. He will dye your yarn to order, so it's completely unique not the same as anyone else's. So that makes it more special. And don't forget, it is an artisan yarn. It's being dyed by someone. It's not a commercial yarn where it's being manufactured to look the same and for all shops to sell it. Therefore, it's going to a vast community. This is hand dyed, so it's bespoke, original every time. So it is, it is something special. But that, oh. is so soft and I know it's so soft because I'm wearing it more about that in a little while so Pinebury we've got Pinebury Granadilla not very good with words I don't know how you pronounce them oh, look at that sugared almond Mirabelle, pink grapefruit. And it's something to note that this yarn is not a yarn that an indie dyer can buy from uh, a company that sells uh, dyed, uh, wool ready to dye. So there are a couple of companies in the UK where an indie dyer can buy the wool from, that it comes, you know, like you've seen uh, when my wool came from the mill, my lavender blue wool, comes, it's all natural, it's all white, uh, and it's ready for the indie dyer to then dye. And these uh, companies will chuck out loads of yarns, so many, because I was looking at getting yarn when I was interested in starting to learn to dye yarn. But I wanted something more than just a commercial undyed yarn that I then put my colours on. Uh, and the same with Nick Macintosh. He has gone to find the merino and the cashmere to produce his own spun yarn. So it's not, and it's no, no disrespect to indie dyers, uh, they've got to get their yarn from somewhere. And as, as we've talked about before, it's, it's a lot more expensive finding a, a flock, getting it spun up yourself, getting it back. It puts the prices up. So these commercial companies that produce undyed yarn, that's what, you know, it's, it's there, it's for indie dyers to do. Um, but because of that, it makes that type of yarn quite readily available everywhere. So it's just another thing that makes Knit Macintosh unique. So if you do buy the yarn, you know it's, it's, it's unique in that respect from its makeup, from where the wool has come from, how it's spun and how it's dyed, hand dyed by James. And that means a lot. So let's take a look at the skull. This is phenomenal.
So when you buy the kit, you can buy it as a complete kit, so it comes with needles, or you can buy everything separately, because you might already have the needles, so you can buy everything independently. But the kit is £100. And, oh, So there's the wonderful tote bag. Oh. There's your symphony wooden needles from Knit Pro if you want them. Santa Rosa plum. And let's get it right. Dragon fruit. Santa Rosa plum. Dragon fruit. Oh. Oh, the birdies love it too. <laughs> and then you get this wonderful pop of Morello. And to contrast that, you've got to have a bit of off-white. Beautiful almond. Oh, and then, as always, what I like about James' kits you get the lovely label to sew on. If I show you on, on my one. There. And I like to wear my scarves like that. And then you've got your little, if you want to, there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this was designed by a renowned designer in the UK, Jo Allport, and she's collaborated with James together to create this scarf. You can buy the kit that comes with a fabulous pattern. It's 27 pages long. They do not assume the end knitter knows everything. They don't assume a level of knowledge at all. So it's great. So if you want to have a go at doing the Fair Isle. It's, it's simple in the fact that it's not overwhelming. So on my cardigan I'm doing, my first attempt at colour work, it's just the yoke. So that was manageable. On this one, the colour work is, is just the ends. And that's actually really nice. And then you have the block colour. So you actually get to really enjoy knitting, uh, if you like stocking stitch knitting, and seeing the wonderful colour so you can really see the natural hand dyed effect coming out there from a natural, from a hand dyed yarn rather than it being commercial. But then you get to see the fun of all those colours together in the Fair Isle without overwhelming you. So it's, it's oh, just having that round your neck, oh, out on a walk, brilliant. And as I say, it's a nice, nice length scarf, isn't it? Stand up. So as I say, um, Nick McIntosh worked with Joel Port. She designed the scarf, the Black Forest Fair Isle scarf kit. You can buy it online. If you look in the links uh, down below, if you click on those links, it'll have my affiliate code. So this is what I was saying to you. This is where James uh, Nick McIntosh is different because the stock doesn't sit in my shop. But if you, if you use the link below to buy it, it's as if the stock is sitting in my shop. It's as if I've bought it from James and then I sell it. So he gets his money, I get my money as the business. So if you use the link below and buy it from, uh, from that link, it's like being in the shop. So you are supporting a, a small bricks and mortar shop as well from using that code. But if not, just go online anyway. You're still supporting another small independent business. Well, I say small, they're, they're getting bigger and bigger. Now also, let's not forget, you could win £500 worth of Knit Macintosh stuff if you download their fabulous Calm Colour book. All those links are down below, but you just go to his website, you'll go to the shop and you'll put the, the free it's like an ebook. It's a, a great PDF full of all their yarns and some nice things in there. But from just downloading that 
that um, colour book, that e-book, uh, enters you into a competition to win £500 worth of Nick McIntosh stuff. So uh, go for it. Ah, oh, right, and it looks like it's going to start raining soon, so that might be the perfect time to finish, pack up, and go away. Oh, <laughs> my